Heading out to gather up some fuel for the smoker. Very thankful to have a abundance of pine trees on the new property here. So yeah, usually I'll just fill up a tote bin like this. I'll take it back in the in the barn and uh, let it lay it out on the ground, let it dry. It's probably 20 maybe 30 pine trees here and they produce some really good pine needles from a smoker specifically these ones right here these are red and white pine mixed together and they uh they burn really well so let me go lay this out let it dry and we'll go check the bees all right, so while I'm walking back to the barn, I thought I'd just mention that uh, we were out here yesterday, did some uh, checks on a few hives, noticed uh, quite a few of them needed more fondant patties, so put those on. I've got, uh, I don't know, seven or eight more to go through today. I've got two double deeps that I'm really interested in seeing what they're doing, where their stores are, so... I'm gonna go through them real quick and then get ready for uh, sugar syrup. I think the next thing I need to go get is a load of sugar and uh, get working on mixing sugar up, getting ready for that. That'll be here in the next couple weeks. So I've got these two pallets right here to go through. And I'm really curious about these two double deeps. These were pretty large colonies that I uh, took into winter as double deeps, just because they were so full of bees. I thought uh, it would be worth giving them a second box. The upper box that I put on them was just uh, all honey. So haven't even been into these uh, since I brought the bees out and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to see what's going on with them in comparison to the, uh, the different singles that we have out here. So I'm gonna take a quick look in them and see what's going on. So it's kind of funny. I hear other beekeepers that uh, film and, and put stuff on YouTube talk about the uh, microphone issue a little fuzzy uh, ball on top of the microphone. Uh, this year I just got new microphones and I'll show you here. It's attacked this microphone relentlessly. So that's interesting. I don't know exactly what to do about that, but he is not happy. All right, I'm gonna get into this double deep here. Not exactly sure what to expect. It's a busy colony with lots of bees coming in and out the front. A fair amount of bees in the top here. Looks like a lot of honey up here. They seem pretty calm, so that's good. We'll see what happens as I crack a few of these frames open. And I just wonder, you know, only over, only overwintered two of them in double deeps. I'm always trying to learn a little bit, see if that's the move. So I'm gonna kind of take a look at these and see what they're doing. Uh, looks like they're bringing in pollen, probably the dry sub, and then just uh, some honey that they've robbed out. This whole top was 90% uh, honey. 
capped honey when I took them into winter. That's just a honey frame, good and heavy. So I'm assuming that's what the top will be here. I'll just run through this real quick, see if there's anything interesting. <laughs> Be a little curious to see if the queen uh, is up here. I doubt it, but be curious. Yeah, a bunch of brood up here. A bunch of drone brood. That's interesting. And she can lay it up because she's got the bees to cover it. So I'm assuming these will be early splits. These will be some of the colonies I split earliest. Yeah, it's all laid up. Eggs and larvae. Okay, so she's she's laying this top right up. First time getting in this colony this year, so they're a little bit frazzled as I start breaking frames apart. That is a solid frame of honey with a bunch of drone brood on it. Okay, so she's going to work. The bottom of this box looks uh, just as full. So I'll put this back together. It's uh, jam-packed full of honey, pollen, and drones. So that's cool to see. I would love to have queens mate with uh, drones from a colony like this. These are uh, strong overwinter colonies. Other than their infatuation with this microphone, they're very gentle. Assuming taking this top box off is gonna get them really fired up. Let's see. So this is two completely full boxes of bees. Alright, so I'm going to have to do something with this microphone. They are furious about it. I'm going to see if I can go inside and uh, move the uh, microphone inside of there. See if that stops me. All right, well, that was interesting. Um, I moved it inside the veil. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we'll see how that works. I'm not sure. I uh, hadn't had that experience yet, but I'll, uh, I'll have to develop a better system if I'm going to use this microphone. I definitely like the sound quality better with this mic than just the, uh, just the regular mic on the camera. So this colony is really big. This is about the size they were when they went into winter. That's why I dropped the second box on top of them. I don't know if we have a, a fear of starvation here because that there was so much uh, food in the top box. I think they're fine. Um, yeah, this will be an early split. If I don't, this will probably be an early swarm. So this colony is probably going to get busted all apart. And... Turned into two or three colonies, which is a good thing for me. I can recoup some of the losses. But I'm not going to put any food on them. The top box weighs a ton, so they're good. We'll roll with that and see how it goes. Check this other double deep here. So same thing here, a large colony that was kind of bursting at the seams going into winter. 
So I threw a uh, threw a deep on them. Now, if you saw the video when I was doing uh, fondant inside the winter shed, pretty sure that's when this fondant here went on. I think I dropped one on there when they were inside, and they're eating some of it. It's probably I'd say half gone. Be about where I'd put it. I'm assuming we got the same scenario here. A little less uh, bees. Nowhere near as many bees as the other one. The plastic frame on the outside is always bad news in the spring. That, that likes to break once they weld it in there. So I always go for the number two frame. If that outside frame's plastic, keep it from breaking. So oh, just a bunch of pollen and honey. Some pollen on that side. They've got, I'd say, a little less resources than the other one I just opened. A lot of these cells are empty. This side's full. Don't see any uh, queen action up here. Don't see any any brood or anything. So, actually, I'm not gonna go any further. Probably half the weight. So this colony is in a totally different condition. Totally different condition here. This, uh, this old day damp patty. Uh, really no bees down here. Actually, it looks like a bunch of some dead bees down here. Really interesting. I wonder if this bottom is empty. It's looking like it. It has got that look of a, a very, very light colony. There's some dead bees there. Just a few. So I think this bottom box is coming off. Yeah, it is. I'm taking this bottom box off and knocking these back down to a single. And giving them a much better chance of survival that way. All right, so this is coming off. And these girls are going to be a single for now. Now I'm going to give them a brand new fondant. Put it right over top of them there. So these two double deeps, well the one's not a double deep anymore, uh, came through winter very differently. They both went into winter uh, very strong and the one that's still a double is, uh, it's big, it'll be getting split before long. And this one here dwindled. Uh, still alive, still got a population of bees, but uh, they did not do as well. So they got a new fondant patty and got dropped into a single. And this one here, we'll be uh, looking to split it as soon as I get the uh, opportunity to do so. So all in all, the bees are looking good and it was nice to get some fondant on them. Uh, go through the ones that needed it, hit them with some more fondant and uh, make sure they got what they need. Well, that's where we stand this week. We've got uh, fondant on all the colonies that needed it. There was a couple that didn't, still had their, their fondant patty pretty much intact, but um, knocked one of the doubles down to a single, knocked one of the singles back to a nuke back there on the stand. So made a few 
corrections, added some fondant, and uh, next uh, couple weeks still going to be too cold to do much with. We get some days in the 50s and 60s, then we get some days in the 40s. So we're just waiting, but that's where we're at this week. And uh, in the meantime, we're making plans to get things moving and organized and ready to go. Appreciate everybody watching. Take care.